All right, uh, I wanted to uh, share a new enhancement uh, for Prop EOS 4. Uh, this will be in the library. Um, so enhancements and customizations are a new feature on the OS 4 library I built. Um, so now this is going to be an enhancement you could choose on your blade. And I'm calling it Passive uh, Battery Monitor. So, uh, you know, typically uh, I've seen battery monitor style set up as a preset. So you would scroll to it, you can get your battery monitor. Um, some people are setting them up on their uh, accent LEDs. Um, but I kind of had this idea of a different approach, um, so I'm including it in the library. Now, uh, this is just the first few uh, versions. Uh, I've got other ideas for this as well. Um, but so what makes this uh, kind of unique is um, when you first, there, there's going to be two versions, but uh, the first version here, when you first boot your Sabre, you're actually going to get a visual indicator of your battery level. Um, and it's only when you, this one will only run when you boot, so it doesn't get in the way, you don't got to scroll to it. Um, it will have to be active on your uh, first preset. So if you uh, if you boot up and that first preset doesn't have this, then obviously it wouldn't work. And boot is only when you first power the board. So if you uh, have it on like a second preset, obviously if you power up and it's not on the first, it won't show. But so this this one's on the first preset. So what's going to happen is uh, you first boot up your board, uh, boot up the saber. So pull your kill, kill key, you know, uh, flip the kill switch, put the battery in. Um, whenever power is first given to the board. It's going to initialize for a short time, and then the color here is going to tell you your battery level. And it's passive because you don't have to do anything. It's just going to show, and then it's going to go away. Um, so I think these batteries are pretty fully charged. So I boot up. It gives me my color indicator, and actually it's a little yellow. So um, this will go from green to yellow to red. So that one's a little yellow, so it's telling me my battery's a little bit lower. Um, and then now the Sabre runs as normal, and you won't see that again because this is the boot version. Um, so now let me show you again. I'm going to turn the power down. And then this Sabre has two batteries. So that battery was a little yellow. Uh, hopefully the color is showing. Um, this is my fully charged battery, so this should be green. So yeah, that's a green instead of a yellow because that battery is fully charged. But it's just a quick... Uh, notification when you first boot up your Sabre, hey, this is the current level of your battery. So now if that had been red or an orange tint, then you know your battery is getting low. It lets you take action as soon as you boot the Sabre up instead of, you know, having to scroll and find it or, or the other methods. Um, and then the second version of this is it appears more often, and I put it on retraction. So um, this version will have it. So when you, you, you know, you first boot up, you have it. Now the retraction version you can put on any style. Um, but so... You ignite your blade, it's running, you know, you're all well and good. And then when you retract, it's going to give you an emitter effect of the color of that battery. So again, that was a green, but again, it goes away. Um, so it, the idea of it is you can put this on any of the styles. Um, the retraction one can go on any preset anywhere on your board. Um, the boot version you have to have on the first preset. Now, also, if you happen to have a... Um, the save preset or the save state where you, it remembers your last uh, preset, then you would want to have that boot version on all of them because if you toggle through or whatever, it won't show. So, um, But uh, it, it only works on the first preset when you boot up and it doesn't do anything. So having it there doesn't hurt any of the other styles anyway. So if you will, if you like it and you want to include it, it's fine to include on all the styles. It's just it'll only show on that very first preset that's there at initialization, um, whereas the retraction one shows any time you retract. Um, so, you know, you can just be using your Sabre for a while, be unsure about it. When you turn that Sabre off, it's just going to let you know. And, and it's set to be green uh, to red. So green being full power. So when you get bright green, it's full power like this battery is. Um, the other battery was a little more yellow because it's moving towards red. Um, so you'll get that uh, moving towards red as it gets lower. So when, it, when you see it come back as red, then you obviously know your battery's low. Um, but, um, and then there'll be a, there'll be a combo version in the, uh, enhancements as well, where you can actually just get both at the same time on a blade. So this, this blade has both initialization, uh, a, a boot and retraction version. Um, so, uh, but let me just one more time. I'm going to actually switch over and I'll go back to that other battery. Um, that's a little bit lower. So hopefully the green was showing nice and then this should be a lower battery. So this should be going more yellow. So yeah, that one's a little more yellow to it. It's still greenish, um, 
but then it just goes away. So that's the, the boot version. And then again, it, it's the same exact preset. So I'm gonna ignition. And then on retraction, and you could you could put it on a side blade, you can put it anywhere you want on any of the blades, you just pick it as the enhancement. But uh, that's a uh, passive battery monitor, so um, I'm, I do have other ideas for that uh, that I'm going to try to work on. Um, but for right now, there'll be the three versions. So there'll be the boot version, there'll be the retract version, and then there'll be the boot and retract version. Um, and it'll be in your selection of either main blade or side blade for any of the blades that can be customized or enhanced. Um, so check out the OS4 library. OS4 is in alpha testing now, um, if you didn't see that on the open source or TRA. Um, so it is being tested. I think a couple of little things have been found, um, but it's, it's working really well. Um, if you want to, you know, take a run at it, um, you know, just go to uh, the TRA forum, find the Profi OS4 alpha testing thread. I'll put a link in, um, and you can, you know, test it. Just realize it is still in alpha. Um, if you find a bug, if something doesn't work, please report it on the forum. Um, we're trying to move, uh, I know Frederick's trying to move out of alpha just by getting initial tests, then we'll go to a beta test, uh, which will be a little more in-depth, and then, you know, once that's done, it'll be full release. Um, so, uh, it's, uh, OS4 is getting closer and closer, it's working really well, um, so uh, a lot of thanks to Frederick, obviously, um, but uh, the OS4 library is up, it's running, it's not finished, um, I'm still fixing stuff and adding stuff to it. Um, but uh, it's uh, this now, this new enhancement will be there uh, if you want to play around with it. So, hope you enjoy.